Hi guys, I gotta be quiet. Not because my kids are asleep, because everyone's awake. At least I hope Ashley's awake. If I haven't given you a full update about Abby, or I have, in little bits and spurt. Um, it's early in the morning. It's not even, it's barely eight o'clock. About a week and a half ago, probably even like two weeks ago, Abby started having pain in the incision site from her surgery. The incision is closed. It's pain from inside the jaw, which obviously is worrisome. So we contacted her doctor and told them she couldn't open her mouth more than it. Um, couldn't chew very well anymore. When she had started to chew again after surgery, doctor put her on antibiotic immediately. I had antibiotics within hours of contacting the doctor. So I think some of her pain is gone now um, because she's on the antibiotic and killing the infection. But we need to go in today and find out what else is wrong. And per my dad, who is a doctor, we're not taking his sole advice by any means, but we get a better understanding from him that not only is she has an infection, obviously the antibiotic is going to help clear that up. But it's possible that the body is rejecting her pin that is in cheek, cheek bones. So if that is the case, we need to remove that pin. So I haven't told Abby that yet because I don't want to worry her if that's not the case. So we will just go and find out what the doctor would like to do. Finally got an appointment for this morning and I woke up way too early, if I'll be completely honest with you worried that I wouldn't be able to like see what time we needed to leave. Going to Children's Hospital at this time in the morning. <laughs> when I first woke up, the timing was a half hour drive. Then I went to 40 minutes, and then I went to 50 minutes, then I went to 51 minutes. And right now, I don't have my watch in here or my phone in here. It's over an hour drive. So at this point in time, an hour start, an hour drive to get to the appointment in time starts in 14 minutes, so 13 minutes. So I'm gonna hurry and go see if Abby is ready to go. We might, cause it, the, it, the time is just increasing like rapidly. So I might just hurry and get on the road. Just went ahead and started a load. Get on the road and go see what's wrong. Setting out Ashley's allergy meds and a daytime cold med. She's had a sore throat. That's it, it's the only symptom, but just giving her a daytime cold pill and she's had hives like maybe once a day. Not terribly bad, but just we're just having to like still use that. Also, I didn't finish yesterday's video because I went to bed at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock. This rose is for her teacher. Um, it is her teacher's, but the rose came apart from the stem. And so Jason stitched it back together for her. I think he still feels guilty about the Valentine's, even though Ashley has her Valentine's now. So he got that all stitched back up for her teacher, so Ashley's gonna take that. Hey, where have you been? I've been looking for you now and then. Someone just like you who can make me feel the way you do. Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain. We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same. All right, you guys. I just got done talking with um, one of you, so Minnie. Hello, welcome to my portion of today's video. Um, this hair will go up as soon as I'm done talking to you guys. It is definitely on day three hair and it needs to get washed tonight. But, um, so Minnie, thank you. That was a really fun conversation and I love my peeps that like to talk Hawaii, but also motivation and um, just life. Anyway, so thank you. And um, anyway, so let me give you a quick update on Abby. I have to, again, if you are new here, I have to be very respectful of Abby and not filming her. I think I even got a little bit of a glare <laughs> when she realized the camera is on. When we left the hospital, I have to be very respectful of that. She doesn't like to hear me talking about her. <laughs> so I had to wait till she left to go to school. And she's probably gonna be home from school in the next 15 minutes or so. So I need to hurry and, and talk about this while she is gone. So I don't know if I have mentioned it um, in the past, but I think I mentioned it this morning. The worry that we would have to um, take the pin out was high. But when we went and met with the surgeon today, he did 
we did the x-rays and he looked at the x-rays and then did you know an actual like physical exam inside her mouth quickly and and was able to say yep you're good the antibiotics are working keep taking the antibiotic brought the infection down her pain is down she's back to eating a, a lot better and it's crazy because like from the time I even scheduled this appointment two days ago I think I scheduled no I scheduled the appointment yesterday but we went through the whole weekend of her being in pain so even just in the past two days since I made this appointment um, she feels a ton better so that means the infection is going away he explained it it could have been the body rejecting the pin um, but he he said it was likely because the pin looks fine from the x-rays it was likely bone what did he bone dust if bone talk kind of makes you queasy, then skip like 10 seconds. But bone dust is literally from the drill. So it's like when you're drilling a hole into wood, there's dust. <laughs> So it was likely bone dust um, remnant surrounding the pin and the bone where the surgery was that lingered and it was a foreign body, you know, it's not supposed to be away from the bone um, and it just kind of lingered. And when she got some kind of infection, a sinus infection, a cold, something, that infection um, and bacteria went straight to a foreign body and attached itself to that and created the infection. Um, and so luckily it was on bone dust and not on the pin itself and so he doesn't need to do anything. The antibiotic should run its course over the next five days or so and she should be all good to go. She's already feeling a ton better. The swelling is already down like you can't even see anything from the outside anymore whereas before you could actually see a visible bump. So the doctor was very hopeful of that. We also talked about um, her rhinoplasty that she will do um, and he was like I think we're almost to the point where we actually could talk about when we get to do it because she's enough weeks post-surgery. Um, we have an appointment scheduled in four weeks right before our trip um, to go to Japan and Hawaii. I didn't tell him Japan, but I did tell him the Hawaii side of it. But he wants to meet with us again right before that trip so that we can make these final decisions on doing the rhinoplasty. He was like, I, I think we still need to do it. You would breathe a ton better. Your, your whole jaw shifted and we, I think we could open it up more with the rhinoplasty and then we'll discuss um, more of the cosmetic side to that surgery at that next appointment. And he'll also, he also did photos of her and he'll, we'll be able to do it a before and after of the surgery, which is kind of cool. Because of those photos were taken today, it'll help us decide what she wants to do in terms of the nose shape. She gets to have some kind of cosmetic surgery on top of the rhinoplasty. So I did ask him if she, he said you can resume any physical activities if you were in sports or, or if you're a runner or whatever, you can go back to doing those things. And she's not, so she's like, no problem there. But I said, but she is an avid like cliff jump when we go to Hawaii and he just was like fantastic yeah she was cleared for that especially by when we actually go on our trip he was like a hundred percent she can cliff jump I just need her not to not have long fake nails and not hold her nose <laughs> if you know you know so I think she might do like a whole like knuckle nose pinch or maybe even like get some actual like nose plugs. I think she was kind of scared when I mentioned that. She was like, oh, I don't know if I want to cliff jump. One, she has PTSD from getting hurt last time um, when we were in Maui, but also like, but he said she is, she'll be cleared 100% to cliff jump. She gets to just do her regular ortho work. She has an appointment tomorrow with her orthodontist and he is happy with the progress that that um, doctor is doing to just finish up the braces. He's, she's having to really bring the teeth all back together, but that means that it's almost easier to have them way spread apart from the, the jaw being totally in a new place because now she can literally like pinch them all right back together exactly where they need to be. So it's making the progress of her braces go pretty quickly and I would say, I don't know what her doctor would say, but maybe six months and she'll be done with her braces if we can really like use her gummy ga gum. Like her, her gums are really like, they're very pliable right now. And so we take advantage of that and move the teeth as quickly as possible while they're kind of limber if you want to call it that. So um, that's just kind of the update and we came home and we had um, our, it's become a tradition to stop and get Chick-fil-A and uh, you know it's her reward <laughs> for having to you know because like the nurse um, you know when they put her in like the x-ray machine and, and Abby just like instantly like tilts her head and she lifts her jaw and she like tucks her head in and she clamps down and the nurse is like oh this isn't your first ro rodeo <laughs> like you knew exactly what position you needed to be in to take the to get this x-ray and I was like yeah this is not her first rodeo um, so um, and the doctor recognizes us and the nurse re another nurse recognized us um, so it'll be nice 
to like, we're not quite on the other end of this. We still have another surgery, but he, when I asked if we could do that surgery, um, possibly this summer, he was like, yeah, that'd be great. I just want you to be mindful that, um, he's like, that will be like good timing to do it. Like in terms of like post-surgery, but he said, be mindful that her nose will be swollen for up to three months, even beyond like having it taped or whatever. Um, so just be mindful of her senior photos, which was so nice to have a doctor like think of something like that. And I said, well, we're kind of, we're already ahead of you because we're kind of thinking of getting our family photos and her senior photos taken in Hawaii. And he's like, of course you would. I think he's starting to like understand who I am and but I kind of plan things and he was like of course you would already have that planned <laughs> I was like well I don't have a photographer yet but she has had the thought and maybe we'll do senior pictures again next spring after the surgery because her nose shape will change but we want to give her the chance and the confidence of having a photo session done after the surgery we're gonna get family photos anyway so like we did with Kaylee last year let her have a pretty dress um we might just use the one little shawl graduation thing that Kaylee still has that she got because Abby won't have hers obviously she's not a senior but it'll give us an opportunity to use that photo if we want to and then um if she's still swollen next spring when we need to get her photos done for her senior pictures for the yearbook or whatever then we kind of have this one as a backup um in case she doesn't want to get them done so anyway that's kind of the update and i just need to sit down and edit i was doing that while i waited for abby to go to work or not to work go to school um you want to see what she made she's in a ceramics class at school and they have like themes that they have to do so they had to like I don't know what the assignment was, but this is a paint pot and like a paint tray. So the paints can go in here and then like water to rinse it off in here. But it's also a sun and a moon. Isn't that kind of cool? So it had to have like dual purpose, dual meaning. That was like the assignment or whatever. And so she's very creative. I don't know if like that was what everyone did or if she thought of it, but that was kind of nice. And I don't think I showed you the pretty flower setup that I, well, flower, um, my eucalyptus leaves. And it just is so good because like it doesn't depend picked any holiday like it's just it's just here and I can have a pink candle beyond February 14th because it's hibiscus and it smells wonderful <laughs> um I'm just trying to think what else to update you on um, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. It's a normal day. I, Jason says that he might have plans for me tomorrow night. I just, he has a hard time surprising me and I know I told him not to do flowers and he said that we're not going anywhere but to not eat dinner. <laughs> it's like, well then do I need to look nice or do I need to like be fresh from a shower? <laughs> I don't know. So we'll find out what I'm going to do tomorrow with Jason for Valentine's Day. I'm not saying that I want to have low expectations to hurt his feelings. I just, I don't need much. I'm fine. I like my dinners out to be like on a Hawaiian beach. So I just, I hold out for the times where it actually means more to me, but hopefully we'll just have a fun day doing, I don't know when, maybe he's taking the day off. I have no, I, I really don't know. But okay, so that's my update. I don't have cheerleading for Ashley, so I'm not gonna have to go sit in a car for two and a half hours, which is fantastic, which is why I wanna shower and clean my hair. That's why I'm holding the phone here, or the camera, I should say, because it's very different up here. <laughs> All right, do you know, wanna, wanna know something kinda cute? And yes, I am kind of a sucker. I need to go to get Ashley's prescription at Target. But she has zero pills left, like zero. She has none to take tonight, and I am not dealing with that child without medication. Anyway, so I'm going to Target, so I texted Abby, she's the only one at home right now, texted her and asked her if she needed anything at Target, even though I got the things that they had on their list. I got their face wipes, beauty blenders, and something else. I got something else at Target yesterday with Jason. Um, but she was like, can I just, can you look and see if they have any of those heart-shaped jelly beans from the Valentine section? <laughs> and normally I would have been like, nah, you don't need it, but like, jelly beans are perfect PT for her. <laughs> it's a little literal physical therapy for her jaw to chew on jelly beans. So I was like, yes, I will get you. These, these are like medically necessary jelly beans. So <laughs> I'm going to get her some jelly beans and get the medicine. And hopefully that's all I walk out of Target spending. I did a little bit of a detour, not going to Target quite yet. Um, so I want to make sure she got in. So there's this sweet lady. Her kids go to my kids' elementary school. She works at, um, well, I'm not going to say where she works, but, uh, I see her often, <laughs> often enough, um, that I know where she works, but, um, her and her husband, um, don't make a lot of money. 
and they just happen to live near me. Like they really don't make very much money and she doesn't have a car, so she walks to work. And she works on the other side of town. I often pick her up when she is walking home on very, very steep hills. And I see her and both me and Jason and now Kaylee and Abby all pick her up when we see her. We don't, we don't see her as often as I would hope we'd see her because I don't ever know when she's actually going to be coming home from work. Like I don't obviously like know her schedule by any means and I'm not always out when she's getting off of work, but I always pick her up um, and take her home. But I've actually never timed it or known when to time it to take her to work. And today I wasn't gonna go out to Target right now. I was gonna wait and do something with Ashley just because she doesn't have cheer tonight. And I know she'll ask to do something um, and she might. I might still have to come back out, but I had distinct impression um no just go to target go and get it done and the second i turned the corner after um leaving the house i saw her standing on the side of the road and i knew she was she kind of hangs out people know she needs a ride um and no she's not like i don't know what the word is grifting she's not just trying to use people she's just very sweet she's really trying to support her family and works very very hard um for probably very little pay honestly i just want to help her out whenever possible and so i took her to work and it's very sweet because when i come in and see her at my at her work the people she works for her manager oh you are the one who takes her to work that is such a special thing like everyone knows that I'm the I'm her ride or I take her home from work often um, in fact I've come over here I've gone over to her work um, twice during the really cold weather like the freezing weather to see if I could take her home from work um, I think I've mentioned that before maybe I haven't um, because I didn't want her to walk home in the cold like the whole way. I only see her to pick her up when she's like 80% home. Like I'm only taking her home like the last 20%. Anyway, during the cold, cold weather, I go down and see if she needs a ride every once in a while when I have time. So because I went a completely different way around town, I remembered um, that I have a package at the post office um, I don't know what it is. It might be from one of you. So I thought, you know what? Let's go snag it and see what it is. And, uh, oh, I need my phone. <sighs> Forget. I just grabbed my mail key, but my phone is my car key. <laughs> Let's go see what we have today. Well, I didn't check to see if it had actually arrived before I went in there because I got the notification that it was shipped from Texas. So whoever sent me something from Texas, I got that notice a week ago. And I just figured a week was enough time, but it's not in there. And so then I checked, you know, I checked my PO box online and it said that it's gonna be late. So I just thought for sure, it'd, I thought for sure it'd be here by now. Um, and it doesn't even say when it's gonna be here. Usually it'll like even say like, it'll be there tomorrow, the 14th. But it doesn't even say that. So I'm so sorry for whoever sent that. Um, I am waiting to get it. I'll come back. I'll just have to check now. I'll have to check the app on my, check it online. I'll have to check it online before I waste time to come down here because I just assumed it would already be here by now and that I had missed the notification, but apparently it hasn't come yet. It's funny and funny. You have I took him out. No, that's she a bad idea. me to do this. I didn't. You're the one who put it on because the, your boobs are the size of my face. <laughs> no, funny. they are not. She stuffed her brassiere. Oh, God. No, but the side profile. It looks. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs> These are my pants. Ah, oh, that's okay. My bra. All right. Try All right. Break. So. Oh. <laughs> We've been, I've been, not lazy necessarily. Yeah, you were You lazy. just had your friend over? Yeah. Right? Tell him what you got to go do with Abby. What was uh, Abby nice enough to do for you? Go to Target. Brush. She okay. not only took you to Target, but she also picked up your friend, two of your friends, yeah. at their houses. Yeah. Took you all to Target to do what? Uh, get matching outfits. Oh my gosh, Ash. 
So you're all gonna wear the yellow one. I got the pink one because so Well, they're only five dollars. But why are you doing that? Uh, because it's twin day at our school. For Valentine's Day. And they didn't have the pink one in one of the girls' sizes. So they couldn't all get pink, and so they got yellow. But that was very nice of Abby, because when Ashley came to me, I had just gotten out of the shower and crawled into bed to Marco Polo with my sister. And I was like, I'm not going anywhere. I am staying in bed for at least an hour. And then, are you going to put it on? Um, and so she went and asked Abby, and Abby was more than happy to. She was going to make me. I know she was like you had to pay me five dollars to take you um but given that I pay her her gas like you know it's fine come over here and show it um and yes she wears tank tops and shorts to school and I said it 40 degrees too outside. much with my skin it's what it clashes too much with my skin it's though. fine it is it's fine for tomorrow like, okay anyway I'm so then she took them to, to target they got their matching shirt and then took one of the girls home yeah because she had to go to an activity for church and then yeah, I, I know and then the other friend came here to the house <sighs> oh they've been hanging out and playing since and then the, her mom just came and picked her up or her dad someone but i have I since eaten small. that one is that one does that too small no it fits. no it doesn't that one has to get returned honey no it fits i already it's took off the small. tag no i can still return it with the tag i like it for bed all right for bed because it was only five dollars okay you need to get something to eat go mcdonald's you have mcdonald's oh no i'm not going out girl I well, had a whole plate full of vegetables. Don't I had a whole plate full of vegetables. And look at me. You I had carrot. I know you don't. Can you go make yourself a sandwich, please? Go. Um, I had a whole plate full of vegetables before I ate some pizza. And I only ate one slice of pizza because I got full on my vegetables. So um, Jason and I ate together and talked when he got home from work. And he's up working. Is dad up working out now? He fixed Ash Ashley's bed. Did he fix your bed too? Or was it just Chelsea's? Her bed was squeaking. So I think there's a loop. Here, screw dad. and then now he's up working out and I've just been hanging out here on the couch while I listen to them playing upstairs and it was, it's just been nice so I think I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys it's only like eight o'clock isn't it eight o'clock what time is it Ash it's only 7 30 <laughs> I'm ready to go to bed um I did discover that I can do my little twisties in my hair still I can only do little piggy tails um but I can do little twisties when I don't want to actually do my hair so that's get... nice but I do like doing my hair now that's the You're nice thing I like the only like influencer on YouTube or like a person I know on YouTube who doesn't get extensions in their hair. Yeah, I have no desire to make my hair longer and heavier and hotter than it currently is. I like your long hair. I do too, but it just makes me really hot and I have to do it in order to like it. Will you brush my hair? Do you want to, hey, but will you see if my hair, if you can French braid and do two little mini French braids? I'm gonna be I will keep it in. It won't, it'll only go to like here. No, I know, but that's fine. Cause that would be cute in Hawaii. If you did my hair like that when we were like, are walking around sightseeing and stuff, and then it'll be good for the pool and then I can take it out oh, like when so I'm done. Lovely. But I want to see if she can do it with my short hair. So. It'll be a longer Ouch, ride. that scratched me. Anyway, I'm going to sign off with you and we will see you guys maybe tomorrow for Valentine's Day. I'll just be alone for 90% of the day. I know you drive. Do you have game uh, practice tomorrow night? Yeah. So how can you have practice tomorrow? Tomorrow night, but not tonight. Because is it just the one squad that's done for the yeah. season? And she didn't make a sign up for the, her competitive squad right. for this second winter session quite yet because we're not doing as much. They can year. practice during. Well, it's also it's a break. Kind of for, a long. For Bellevue. It's a long story. Well, yeah. It's also Bellevue winter break. Yeah, there's two different school districts that have like winter break, so it kind of like cuts into like what you're paid for. For practice so she's like don't sign up for it online don't pay for it we'll get two extra practices at a church instead of the community center um just for free so that's kind of nice because she wants them to practice a few more times before japan and we're also having to practice with new people because people are subbing in yeah and we're and you need to practice actually getting up no i know it's well staying up <laughs> no it's because i went like this i went like this mm -hmm. and my base was holding on to me right here mm -hmm. and so i couldn't go to my arabesque he like i don't know what he was thinking but he thought we were going straight to the show and go so he grabbed my foot and that's why but oh because he... he grabbed my foot on accident and then i was oh. also looking down so i went down 
Okay. If you missed that, she did a little stumble and fell during I her. Up. No, I know you. You were fine. It. You recovered it during her um, performance at the UW concert. I so. also need to practice having my legs split. But at least you didn't fall to the ground, right? All right. I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. Take care, and um, I hope you guys. Well, you'll have already had a good Valentine's Day. But also, okay, so <laughs> one of you who secretly watches and doesn't comment anymore, but I know you watch. Laura, you're one of my OGs, and you sent me the best McDonald's meal. <laughs> video the other day and I just watched it today. I was I saw it the other day when you sent it and then and I knew exactly what video you watched when I had inadvertently turned to go to McDonald's out of like instinct and I wasn't supposed to go get a drink at that time of day but she sent me the best video ever. Maybe I'll try and download it and I'll put it on the screen here. The music doesn't necessarily matter and I can't I probably can't play the, play the music but oh my gosh it was so funny because it was just like when when the Diet Coke from McDonald's hits just right and it was like the perfect little video so thank you, you for that I mean I've already sent her a message thanking her for that but if you know you know so take care we'll see you guys next time